In less than a week, 1 million Americans were diagnosed with COVID-19. The U.S. surpassed 18 million cases today, according to NBC News. It comes as the first doses of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine arrive at hospitals across the country. Moderna plans to ship 6 million doses this week as Pfizer ships another 2 million doses. While much of the focus has been on getting the vaccine safely to hospitals, there's a whole other side to the record keeping, which Cerner has been preparing for since April. Our reporter Errol Rothfield explains. It only takes a couple of seconds. But to make this shot in the arm actually happen, it took months of preparation and planning from states, hospitals, and technology companies like Cerner. We knew right away that our clients were going to need help in responding to COVID. The Kansas City-based company has been working on a solution since April to help its clients like Truman Medical Centers build a system to efficiently administer the COVID-19 vaccines in a fast and socially distant setting. We have kiosks, iPad kiosks, that we can check in the patient with just their name, first name, last name, date of birth, and then um, it automatically fires the order and it has any kind of cons um, consents that we need to fill out. The technology emphasizes record keeping so that doctors, nurses, and pharmacists can see exactly what vaccine was distributed to you when. And that information is critical for currently available COVID-19 vaccines. We need every single person who we give a first dose to to come back for their second dose. Um, that's what the studies are based off of. That's how we know the vaccine works. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines require two doses within a set time frame. For Pfizer, it's 21 one days. For Moderna, it's 28 days. And that's where Cerner's technology kicks in once again. Technology is at every step of the way. The pre-registration, the showing up, identifying yourself, knowing which vaccine, tracking the vaccines, tracking waste. So that whole chain of custody of the vaccine itself and the chain of record keeping that goes along with that administration of the vaccine. All to make sure these frontline workers can focus on what they do best keeping us healthy. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.